going on family? This video is sponsored by Slab City Jigs. Be sure to go to slabcityjigs.com. Use code 903 to save you 10% off of your order. These jigs absolutely catch crappie in the fall and winter in the creeks. Y'all be sure to stick around and see them in action. Y'all stay tuned. There he is. Oh guys, we got another crappie. We got another crappie, baby. Nice. What's going on YouTube? This is 903 Fishing. Well, here's the situation. I went to this creek a couple of days ago from the bank. I caught three crappie and all I had was jig and bobber. And I had mentioned while I was there that I typically fish this spot with minnows. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the bait shop, I'm going to go ahead and pick up some minnows, and we're going to see if we can't do any better today. I'm going to go ahead and show those three crappie catches from day one, and then after those clips are over with, day two is going to pick up, and hopefully we can catch some more crappie from this spot. I have not been to this spot in a long time, besides a couple of days ago, and it can be a very good spot. I don't catch many crappie there but I usually catch some big ones. So I'm hoping that these minnows help me today. And sometimes crappie just want live bait. And especially in a creek, if there's minnows, shad running in that creek, that's what they're used to eating. That's what they want. So we're gonna try to see if we can catch some of those big girls today in there spawning, hopefully. If you haven't, smashed that like button. It really helps out the channel. And if you're already subscribed, God bless you. You know, I would not be doing this without you guys. Thank you for liking, sharing, all the support. It means a lot to me. If you're not subscribed and you love you some crappie fishing, this is the channel for you. Smash that subscribe button. Come join the family. We're on the road to 100,000 subscribers on the 903 Fishing Channel. Massive giveaway at 100,000. The biggest giveaway that we have ever done on the channel. So you do not want to miss that. All right, guys, I'm about to go pick up these minnows, and then I'm going to head to the creek bank. Y'all stay tuned. All right, guys. I haven't been to this spot in a long time. So we are going to see if anything is home today. That's going to be the big question. Uh-oh. What is that? Get out of town. That's a crappie. That's a crappie. Oh, man, look at that. Hey, guys. I look like a keeper, keeper crappie right there. Look at that. From the bank, baby. You know what? I'm not going to keep fish today, so we're going to put all these fish back. I say all these fish. I don't know how many fish I'm going to catch, but that is crazy the first cast that's wild let's see if there's any more crappie i love to catch some more crappie for you guys oh my gosh guys what oh my gosh oh my gosh are you serious what is that guys let's go what do you know there's two in there wow that's awesome i'm gonna go over my setup here in a little bit but hey guys that is a nice keeper white crappie the first one was a black crappie nice little white crappie right there y'all let's go put him back that is awesome wonder if there's any more I'm just throwing that jig and bobber out there I'm just pop it pop it pop it and let it sit for two to three seconds pop it let it sit now I will say in the past I have came here with minnows past couple of times I don't have any minnows today just jigs so you know what we're gonna add a little bit of funk with that thump gel baby we're going to see if this helps. I'm thinking it might. 
even though you know i'm popping that jig to make it come alive a little bit but maybe that extra little stink oh my gosh there he is what guys i didn't even move it that's another crappie wow oh six six acc baby look at that fish guys there's three now if you've if you've been around the channel and you've watched some of my older videos i've i have caught some giants out of this little hole like i said i hadn't been here in a long time but that's that's a 12 inch fish i mean that's i have big old hands but that is a good looking crappie guys let's go three crappie hey thump gel what i tell you we're gonna go right back in that little hole i didn't even move it after i threw it in there i i i, I didn't have time to move it there he is oh what is that jeez Oh, it's a war mouth, guys. Look at there. A little war mouth. I bet that's what's been taking, taking my jigs sometimes. Hey, that is a pretty fish. Big old mouth on that joker, too. I thought that was a big crappie. Today I'm using my 6.6 ACC Crappie Sticks One Piece in this creek. You have seen me vertical jig this creek in some older videos. And I'll be sure to link those at the very end of this video so be sure to check them out but 6.6 six, acc crappie six one piece carbon x 500 from pc fun be sure to go to pcfun.com use code 903 fish 15 save you 15 percent and just a little simple my simple little slip cork setup that's why we're using to try to catch anything in the creek all right family we made it with the minnows baby we made it let's see what a live minnow does this is my first cast in i don't know maybe it'll be good give me one of those big crappie i know they can be in here but the current isn't as fast as it was the other day it's done slowed up quite a bit look at there look at there look at there what is that is that him that a crappie oh it's a white bass <laughs> hey i'll take it that's fun that is fun stuff right there guys look at that i'll take it that's fun white bass in this tiny creek that's a good fish too good fish let's go you know what it looks like a male Guys, white bass will come in the tiniest of creeks to spawn. Look at that. Pretty fish, too. All right, we're going to throw these back. I'm not keeping any fish today. So, all right, guys. Well, the white bass is out of the way. Let's see if we can't catch a crop. I'm hooking my minnows right at the top of that dorsal, right underneath the dorsal fin, so he can swim pretty good. I don't know guys, I missed a fish and then that one, I could just tell that wasn't a crappie when he hit it. I'm basically just letting that minnow do the work. There is slight current, like I said, it's kind of pushing it this way, but not, not very much. Now that minnow sends out a distress signal and anything within, I mean, I don't know how close exactly, but anything within a certain radius is gonna be able to sense that that distress signal that that minnow is putting out. That minnow going down there, that is candy to a lot of species. White bass, crappie, bluegill will tear them up, bass, catfish. I mean, anything will eat a minnow, guys. What's that? Oh gosh, I got him. 
Proppy. Proppy, baby. Look at that. Let's go. Solid keeper fish, too. Not a giant. Look at that. Solid keeper, guys. I got a little deformation here. Something kind of crooked. Hey, that is a solid crappie. Good keeper. Let's go. All right. So we got a white bass today and one keeper crappie and then a small crappie. So guess what? There's fish in there. There's fish down there. It's just trying to make a bite. Now I did go a little bit shallower. I really did. I went a lot. I'm only fishing about two and a half feet deep right now. I can't cast up in all that junk, guys. It's just too much. You know, I would get hung up probably eight out of ten times. I would lose my whole rig. And that's just not something I want to do. Minnow is dead. Let's put a new one on there. Got to be moving, I think. The two crappie I've caught today was right after a fresh minnow. Well, I thought I was recording. Darn it. That sucks, man. Look at that. That's a nice white bass. I thought I was recording, guys. As soon as I threw it in there, boom! He hit that live minnow. Dang it. Sorry, guys. Thought I was recording on that one. That's a tick. That ain't good. Uh oh. Something biting that. There he is. Oh, guys, we got another crappie. We got another crappie, baby. Nice. Let's go. Simple slip cork and minnow rig. That's a keeper. That's probably 10 and a half inches, maybe. Maybe 11. Don't have my checker, but that is a keeper, guys. That is definitely a keeper. Nice little keeper crappie. Healthy, too. I mean, for them to be in a small creek, there's got to be some bait in here. And I do see some minnows running around and stuff like that. So that is why these crappie prefer minnows right here. So let's put that one back. Good fish. Now, I ain't went back to back. Not even close to back to back. But that would be awesome. And that one was out, guys. That one was... That one was not really that close to the, uh, to the log jam. But you know what I did? I let it swim. I just let that minnow work. I'm trying to find a pattern. You know, something that I can do over and over again and be successful. But... Just right now I'm just not seeing one. I'm really not seeing a pattern. My two crappie have of course came from the log jam. My two white bass have came more in the current. Really no pattern. I mean that is a pattern, but yeah, I just don't know if there's not that many fish or what, but water's pretty low. May not be many fish be able to get in here. There he is. What is that? A bass? Hey, that's a little crappie, guys. Let's go. Not a big one, but that is a crappie. Look at that. Hey, I'll take it, y'all. Fishing in this little tiny creek, little crappie, I'll take it. Now, I know there's some bigger ones in there, though. What's going on, family? Well, that's gonna end this fishing trip. Hope y'all enjoyed this video. Like I said in the intro, it's a combination of two days. First time I was here, it was just slip cork and jig. Today I brought minnows, and I believe I caught one more crappie with minnows than I did with a jig. So you just never know, guys. I wish there was a lot more water in this little creek. If so, then I think the crappie would be able to get in here a little more. We need a big old rain, and that's pretty much, that's pretty much how I see it. 
I know a lot of y'all like bank fishing, so I'm, I'm trying to get that bank fishing content out there for you guys. So if you did like this video, smash that like button. Really helps out the channel. Thank y'all for all the support. We're on the road to 100,000 subscribers. Be sure if you're not subscribed, smash that subscribe button. Come join the 903 Fishing family. We would love to have you. Like always, like, comment, and subscribe to 903 Fishing. Y'all have a great day. God bless.